Hey everyone, it's Ben Brand, back in the shop with another project. This one actually starts out with woodworking, but turns into something different, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. A while back I was asked to build a very basic, unfinished wooden dowel tree. It's a pretty simple design. I started out with this closet rod and drilled a series of 27 holes uh, at a slight angle all the way around the closet rod. I've got them in groups of three spaced out at different heights, and then cut up a series of 5 8 inch dowels to insert into each of those holes at uh, different lengths to give it a tree-like appearance. And just rounded over the exposed ends of all the smaller dowels. Now where this tree is going to be used, it's probably only going to be used maybe once per year. And for the rest of the year it needs to be put into storage. And that raises an interesting question. What's the best way to store this thing? We don't want to leave it in its big tree-like state because that would just be too big and bulky to work around and store. So I left all the dowels removable, but then we need a good way to store those dowels. Now of course you could probably throw them in a bag or a bucket and get them out next year when you need them. But I thought this presented an interesting problem to solve. So I wanted to create a custom-sized cardboard box to hold all of these dowels so that they have a dedicated place to go when this thing is not in use. And I wanted to make this box just the right size to hold just the dowels for this tree. Now there's a variety of ways to come up with the perfect size box for these dowels, but I wanted to jump into one of my go-to websites, wolframalpha.com. Now this is not a paid endorsement, this is just a website that I find really interesting. They call it a computational knowledge engine, and it's got some really interesting features and abilities that if you start to dive into it, you will lose track of a lot of time. But one of the things I want to highlight here is their packing algorithms. Packing being packing shapes into other shapes. So in the case of this project, I need to pack 27 dowels into a square shaped box of just the right size. So if I jump into Wolfram Alpha, and enter in that I want to pack 27 circles, or dowels, into a square, Wolfram Alpha will then come back with the perfect size square to hold all of the dowels that I want to fit into it. So without having to do any CAD or any math, I've got just the right size box to hold all of these dowels. So then it's a matter of taking that measurement, drawing it out on some cardboard, we've made it long enough to hold the longest dowels, and includes four sides and an extra tab for gluing the box together. Now there's probably a more appropriate glue choice for gluing up a cardboard box like this, but lately my go-to Swiss Army glue of choice is just a CA glue or super glue with activator. I found it works really well to glue up cardboard and with a quick shot of activator it sets up instantly and really solid. So after drawing a few lines and cutting out the cardboard, I can fold this up into a perfect size box for our dowels. Except there's one problem. They fit really tight. And I hadn't thought ahead about this, but that would work great if I were, say, shipping these across the country and I didn't want them to get jostled around. Or I didn't want to make the box too big. However, since people will be actually using these dowels and taking them in and out of the box, we have to make this just a bit bigger. So I had to scrap the first box and make the sides just a little bit bigger so I have a little bit of wiggle room to get those dowels in and out of the box. When all was said and done, we had a perfect size box for these dowels with a little bit of room to get them in and out and a nice dedicated place to hold all of these pieces. Now okay, I'll admit I probably overcomplicated this whole box making exercise by turning it into an engineering problem. But then again, where would be the fun in making a box if I just eyeballed it and slapped it together? I know that by putting a little bit of thought into this process, I've created a box that will work well, as opposed to just working good enough. At least I found it interesting, and I hope you did too. So if you've made it this far, thanks for sticking around and taking the time to watch. And I'll see you next time.